Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Jay. Today I'm going to make a super informal video about how much force does it actually take to break a top tube on a carbon fiber bike. So the bike frame I'm looking at, this is my Lauf True Grit. The frame itself has a bottom bracket problem, so the frame is no good. So I have a carbon bike frame that I can go ahead and demolish. So like I said, this is super informal. You mess your bike up, that is on you. Don't fuck your bike up and come back to my video and go, oh my god, but he said you could do this. No. So since it's a bare frame, what I did, I have some Bowflex weights. 12 and a half set. Twelve and a half pounds. So there is roughly 25 pounds plus the frame. That mimics what you have with a fully loaded bike. The stand itself. Dude, this is an Amazon special. Nothing big. And I do want to give props out to Lauf. I absolutely love them. They sent me a Siegla. This is a True Grit. I'm going to miss Gravelicious here. And I will say, this being a gravel bike, this being a lauf, the carbon on this is going to be heavier than what you're going to get on like a pure road bike. This is strictly demonstrative purposes only. Because every time I grab something by the top tube, or every time somebody sees a bike on a stand on a top tube, everybody says, oh my god, you're going to break the top tube. We can all agree that you can pick a bike up by the top tube and carry it. That carbon fiber is not that, not that weak. So, what I'm going to do... I'm going to move this back a little bit and how I do it when I clamp my bikes. See how she's kind of, she's a little bit nose heavy. Forgive my camera work, I'm a dumbass with the phone here. That's how hard I clamp them. And me personally, I feel that's in the safe zone. Just so you know how much force is on here. That's cam down. Bike still moves. Let's tighten up on that a little bit. Tight. Okay. That dude is tightened down with a clamshell shot. God, I hate you destroy such a beautiful bike. She has served me good. I bought her two years ago. I have 11,000 and some miles on it. And honestly, it really does pain me to do this. But I got to do it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open it up. One full turn. Clam down. have no idea how much force is on there newton meters or anything but i'm gonna go a half turn and squish <clears throat> that took a lot of force that took a lot of force to close if at that point you are still cranking on your bike you are fucking stupid let's open it half turn god dang boy that is tight Again, if you have destroyed a top tube on your carbon bike with that, your simple jack. Half turn. Jesus Christ, dude. That is tight. There's no cracks. Fuck it, let's go another one. Half turn. God dang, man. That is tight. That is almost in the middle of the top tube. That's going to structurally be your weakest point. I'm not saying that nobody has ever broken a top tube with a bike clamp. Like I said, dude, this is some bullshit Amazon special. Like 90 80 or $90. 
but she's got those rubber grips. Another half turn. God dang, dude. I'm going to break my stand. Yeah, I know. Kind of shitty. The shadows. One more half turn. <clears throat> I'm not going to be able to get another half turn out. I don't mind breaking the frame. I'm not breaking my stand. That's another testament right there to Lauf and their bikes. God, I was hoping for... I was hoping to pop it. Dude. It's not coming over all the way anymore. Look at that. It can't even squeeze down that far anymore. The frame is still good. I know you can't really see these on the video at all, That's but I have helicopter tape that racer's edge tape all the way up in the top tube. I put some here, here, and I hit the bike because it's a gravel bike. All right, I'm going to throw one more half turn. And then I'm calling it. I'm done. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. Very interesting. Let me grab something. <laughs>